again, you can see me starting with the back. I'm like thinking about how much it's curving out this way. It's pushing. And then, you know, the opposite direction here is going to be to get into, uh, into the arms. Right? So if I was really general here, I'll, I'll be like super, super general, not specific, and just show you, um, just show you fluidity and rhythm. See, I would have something that looks like this. This is a really good starting place. You know, again, as you're learning force, you just want to be able to feel how fluid the race course basically is, right? His other arm is here and his hand's here. This is how it begins. You know, and then you know, with time, you'd get more and more accurate. And I could just keep working on this and we could do that same thing. Like I just noticed the angle I had in his shoulders isn't really strong enough. He's more dramatic than that. All right, so let's get that shoulder up higher. Right, and he's narrower. It's not as, as billowed out that direction as I initially drew. So I'll just make that adjustment. And now this long sweeping curve can have a stronger angle in it for where his elbow is, right? But again, this is the, this is the start of it all. You can see in a very, very short period of time, um, I've got, you know, his whole figure down with extra time basically to spare of what the functionality of it is. I mean, I'm just sitting here pushing accuracy.